quite a bit of people going up north today, but it doesn't surprise me because it is the start of the sun. Like the, well, the first day of summer is like another week and a half away, or a week and a half to two weeks away, but usually once Memorial Day weekend happens, that's when everybody starts making the trip up for like, for like the weekend and things like that. Yeah, here's the exit for Highway 10. I remember, I think a couple years ago, I, they were doing a lot of new construction around in here. try to liven up that commentary a little bit or at least I'll try to because we're coming up to a stretch that's not super exciting because it's just flat land and a lot of farm uh, like farmland so it's not super eventful so we'll get through this <laughs> Flat, or for the most part, and 
it was 55 miles per hour. People would, if you were going 10 over the speed limit, people would be passing you like crazy. I'm not kidding. But yeah, for, for what I read into the law, it's like, for, yeah, they set the speed limits based on the 85th percent per percentile. Or the 85% percentile, excuse me. And on these stretches of freeway, they pretty much know as everybody was speeding, so. That was one of the reasons that they passed a new speed limit law. So I think right now, Michigan and Maine are the only freeways east of the Mississippi River, unless there's some in Minnesota or something. It's been a part of Minnesota's east of the Mississippi that have speed limits set higher than 70 miles per hour. I know many of the western states have speed limits set up to 75 or even 80. But yeah, when I was driving over in Croatia a couple weekends ago, I was on one of their freeways and the speed limit there is 130 kilometers per hour, which equates to 81 miles per hour. And that was probably the highest set speed limit I've ever driven on or even ridden on, at least in terms of legal speed limits. the only places that can top that would be one toll road down in Texas, like east of Boston. So I think they have that set to the 85 miles per hour. And then of course the, the Autobahn in Germany, which <laughs> except in cities, they there there is no speed limit. This is the weekend, everybody's going up north for the weekend. another week to recuperate from the trip but like I want to play it safe because knowing my luck if I like if I would have waited another weekend it'd probably be stormy next weekend because up north today it's supposed to be partly cloudy Maybe even mostly sunny. We'll see what the clouds do today. And it's supposed to be... I think mid-80s inland, maybe around 80 on the water, which in Celsius that'd be a little bit under 30 degrees Celsius inland and then like 27 degrees. Celsius along the, the coast, like Lake Huron. But yeah, this is the first time I'm going up north this year so far. Yeah, again, if 
feels weird to see 75 mile per hour speed limit set in the state of Michigan. Although, to be honest, on these freeways, people never go the speed limit, so... There's still going to be a lot of people who are going to want to go faster. Like, oh, the speed limit's up to 75 now. I'm going to go 85 instead of 80. <laughs> Although I'm sure the police officers that are patrolling the freeways will probably enforce the speed limit a little bit more strictly this time around. To where maybe they didn't pull people over going five over in the past, they might do so this time. Be like, hey, we set the speed limit higher already. It's like you're already wanting to go faster. Tri-Cities area, 
I'm sure they sell a lot of pinconning cheese. I, I've seen it at the Frankenmuth Cheese House down in Frankenmuth. I'll have to look more into pinconning to see if it may be worth doing a video sometime. But yeah, speaking of videos, I'm going to be doing a few videos today. I'm going up to uh, Rifle River Recreation Area up near Rose City. So I'm taking this up to the M33 exit, well, off camera. I'm only filming up to 23. And then I'm going to go to Harrisville, do a video there, including Harrisville State Park, and there's a little restaurant that I'm going to do a Travel the Lights video on in downtown Harrisville, which is not very large. <laughs> oh yeah, this video will be over in a few minutes. And then I'm going to go down to East Tawas and there's a restaurant I went to in a travel vlog I did last year. That I like to do a video on its own. So yeah, I'll be filming five videos today, which if I upload these videos like once per weekend while I'm uploading my Europe videos, that'll take me into mid-July. service between the Pitt County exit and the Aranac County line, which is right up ahead. <laughs> again, yeah, sorry about my voice again. I'm still clearing my throat periodically. I'll, probably, I'll definitely be able to rest my voice between this video and the next video that I do today and plus in those videos I don't talk a lot all at once like I'm doing now be up here is the county line for Aranac County Scott Man 